So one of the things that I have been working on is how to capture stories on the bicycle or any adventure. And uh, this is the first one. Like, I don't know any other person that would be better for the inaugural attempt at this <laughs> than this guy to my right. Uh, I would like to introduce to you Jess Powell. And uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about Jess and his adventures, but also how our lives collided. Our paths crossed. Yeah, they did. And uh, so, real quick, who are you? And uh, if you could wrap yourself up into, like, sum you up the adventures, yeah. like, just the elevator pitch. Who's <laughs> yeah. Jess? My name is Jess Powell, uh, originally and proudly from North Carolina, a little town called Whiteville, down east. Uh, been a bit of a vagabond in my whole professional career, bounced around North Carolina in various cities. Uh, before I moved down to my hometown now, which is Columbia, South Carolina, great cola town, USA. Uh, I lived in Charlotte for a couple years and met all these guys we're on the ride with today and just developed a great sense of community there. And because Columbia isn't too far from Charlotte, you know, I'm able to jump up here pretty regularly and do these rides, but, you know, I like to consider myself a, I'm a banker during the week and a, really a weekend warrior. Just try to be a good athlete, doing all that I can, running, cycling, a little bit of scrambling, climbing, that type of thing. Um, just linking up cool routes. I race a little bit, but mainly just do adventure runs and, and long rides. So Jess is a very strong runner and a cyclist, but the running is how our lives kind of crossed. Yeah. Uh, do you remember what year it was? Oh gosh, that would have been the 2018 Charlotte Marathon. 2018 Charlotte Marathon. Uh, I, to, paint the, to paint the picture for me, I got a call on Friday night that a friend of mine had a half marathon entry that they weren't gonna be able to do. I had never ran a race. I didn't know that. And uh, so I just show up. Got a bib number for the half marathon yesterday. So we'll see how today goes. But it like, I wanna say it was like the eight mile mark. Yeah, that sounds about right. I all, I'm like talking to people and all of a sudden this guy talks back to me and it's yeah. you. So this is why you come out and run. You meet great people like Jess right here. Jess Powell, he's doing the 50, North Face 50. Two weeks. In two weeks. And he's out here running the full marathon as a little uh, trainer, a little warm up. Yeah, we're having a good time. So. What, what what were you doing at that race? Because you were doing the whole marathon. Yeah, so that was, I had just moved from Charlotte to Columbia and I had signed up for the marathon before I moved to Columbia, but came back, had a bunch of friends doing it and jumped into it. I, it was really, for me, I was using it as a long training run. Uh, a couple weeks later, I had my first 50 mile trail marathon. Um, from Trail Ultra that I was training for and getting ready for. Um, so it was just a nice long run to last long run to get ready for that 50 miler. Um, and met Aaron and he brought all the hype in the world. And we stayed together for you know most of the most of the race and just really enjoyed each other's company and have uh, stayed in touch via Strava yeah, and uh, text message ever since. And this is the first time we've been able to get back and really adventure together. Right, uh, to do an adventure, because yeah. we did, our paths did cross one okay. other time, uh, but it at, happened to be at the same exact event. Was that the, a year later? At the 2019? Yeah. Charlotte Marathon? Got quite a few friends doing this race, and so, what I thought I'd do is just go run with them at key 
spots. Just gonna have fun today. So after running for a while, I caught up with some good friends around the eight mile mark and ran with them for a while. Andy Gordon and Jess Powell. I'm, listen, I'm banditing the run. Oh yeah. All I'm doing is there to help a buddy from the 16 mile mark to the end. Now, I had ran the course backwards. I think I ended up that day with 35 miles. Yeah, yeah. you so, ran more than a, much more than a marathon so, helping people. Yeah, and, and so I finished the run with him, and so I'm going back out and running people in, just kind of encourage them. Yeah. And all of a sudden. Sees me, I'm, I'm suffering. So yeah, I don't know, you picked me up at what, 22, 23, yeah, something like somewhere around there. Um, <laughs> you know, standard poor form on my part, trying to race a marathon. Well, I was coming off of a big, well, a that, big, okay. Let's, a big yeah. fall. So you were in, in pretty like rough shape yeah at the end yeah. of it but there's a reason it's not like you were not, not prepared it's no, you had done you had I, done a big adventure yeah, I, i'd done a, a 100k out in arizona uh, <laughs> two weeks before so yeah. I, was, I was limping so, I, and, <laughs> you know look i mean the, the hero of the day by far was dr beaver here oh come on <laughs> like he he was running people in uh left and right and my buddies were out there you know they were hyped up watching Beaver do his thing <laughs> much more than they were hyped watching me limp in. Well, <laughs> I, I appreciate that. I, te I definitely, it's something that I enjoy doing and I enjoyed yeah. that day. And so then that leads us up to today because yesterday on this ride, I get a call from the head enabler right back there who says, hey, my friend Jess, is coming to do the ride. And I'm like, wait a minute, Jess Powell? He's like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, this is, yeah. So, I mean, Jess, you've done some big things. Yeah, You're, right. You've been on some big adventures out West and right now you're just in great form. Well, it, it feels good to do this with friends. Yeah. You know, I mean, this is another, a great training ride but we're all just getting together like old times and putting some miles in helping a buddy mule some socks uh so i mean just being able to connect and that's really what drew me to longer endurance events is the community that is just inevitably a part of these yeah. of these things i mean the community for these things is is definitely what it's all about yeah. like you know yeah. the the endurance park sucks <laughs> it, it hurts yeah but it meeting hurts. people like jess and and i give huge kudos to these guys and jess today because i am well underprepared for this adventure and i don't think so well you, the, you. A, the atmosphere that they have done they've pulled me uh and they're super encouraging, every one of them. But uh, this guy right here, I really have enjoyed. It's been a treat, man. Uh, it's the, been a today, treat. it's been a lot of fun. So I hope you've enjoyed this story. So I had to fall in the line because of traffic. But if you ever see Jess's name on a race roster, definitely look for him. He's a good dude. And she's, he will encourage you, he'll help you. It'll be uh, cheering for you. So uh, hopefully able to do more of these. Hope the audio was good. Uh, if you liked it, you can hit the like button. If you didn't, tell me why you didn't. I'll make them better. Until then, adios. <laughs>